Welcome back to Pokemon oh. Wonder World. And here's the... Oh, yeah. And now it's time for the ice level. And surprisingly, like Jova said, it's actually probably the best one. It's really yeah. sad when it's the ice level. Yeah, sure. Recall, yeah, basically everybody... The ice level to be the best level in the demo. And it extends to the game as well. Basically, sh basically everybody, uh, ice levels are to Shiro right? what desert levels are to Dwips. The, the look lady. of this kind of reminds me of some of the art direction in Spyro Reignited. Yeah, like, I thought you were gonna say Frozen because that's what most people say. Not a, but yeah, well, actually, I, I, I actually am reminded a bit more of old Christmas specials, personally. <laughs> stuff like yeah. the snowman, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, again, again, Oshima's art is on point. I really wish no, Oshima could be the head of a better studio because this, I love okay. his art. Okay, okay, as much as I do love his art, I wonder, would, wait, are you suggesting he would have worked as the director of this game as well? Okay, maybe he wouldn't, I'm not saying he would save the game, but it prob but he probably would have a better idea of how to put this game together than Naka. I do wonder. Anyway, here's the Steel Skater. Now, when used to this level's advantage, it's actually pretty fun to use, and it makes ice traversing actually fun in a game how bonkers is that in fact square you know what you should have done instead of hiring naka hire oshima to be a an artist at your art department there you go you could have made oh. some great thing you could have made some great things with his art on your cg cutscenes like you did in this game eh. so sure i'm guessing when you played the demo you never got to playing the ice world no oh uh, yeah i didn't finish okay. the demo like I said, most people agree that the ice level was the best thing of the demo overall. Oh boy, are you about to unlock it, Pedro? The forbidden costume? The one we dare not reveal, lest we break the game almost as bad as that other costume? Not yet, Jova. <laughs> We're not there yet. Oh, oh really? I thought, I thought you were about to unlock that costume right over there. If you're talking, if, 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 if you're talking about the Frost Fairy, no, not yet. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll get there. But anyway, moving on. Okay, I have no idea how to get through there without intentionally losing a costume. Like, seriously. Like, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get closer to it anyway, so you'll be able to see for yourself. Okay, there you go. As you know, those things hurt you. So, how do I get through there? Apparently, I have, I'm forced to lose a costume. Because that's good game design, right? Force the player to take a hit in order to be able to overcome an, an obstacle. Just like the Sonic games, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> uh... so, 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 they, so they are, audience, um, once again, an example of... Um, some, of, of some, apparently Sonic was never good at it. <laughs> oh, there you go, Shiro, there you go, Shiro. There's the giant version of you, right there. Huh. There you go, see? What I mean... Do, what do you think? I like the cold better than the sun, so I guess that works. <laughs> there you go, see? So what you're telling me is that the cold never bothered you anyway. Okay. Mm, yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> so, 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 Shiro, what do you... Okay, 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 okay. Aside from my joke... Taking aside my joke about it, look, yeah, yeah. about about that girl reminding me of you. Uh, what do you think of her design? I actually think it looks pretty cute, actually. Uh, again, again, again! I really wish you uh, no, uh, no, to Oshima's talents would be better used. Uh, it's such a waste of good art and a waste of good music as well. While we're at it, and this music is really good as well. Why can't this soundtrack be in a better game? Uh, well, I got, well, I've got an answer, Pedro. You could just listen to the soundtrack on this day and not have to play the game. I know, yeah. The game looks look. Uh, the game sounds so beautiful, and the um, and the art direction is really good. It deserves a better story and a better gameplay. Uh, that's the most tragic thing about this game. Like this game could have been great. There are there is there is genuine potential. He oh, there we go. Here's a frost fairy. <sighs> okay, so um, there you go. We need a key first. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Frost Fairy. Now you're probably thinking, wait, that looks exactly like what the Air Cat does. Here's the big difference between the Frost Fairy and the Air Cat. The Frost Fairy does the same thing, but here's the difference. It goes up. Meaning, 
it's even more game breaking than air cat you can literally reach higher places that you wouldn't be able to otherwise thanks to this thing yeah we so basically shiroi this is going to become your primary outfit for exploration in this game once you first get it just get this outfit out and just cheese the fuck out of the level design there you go see i don't need to actually platform my way through this i can just fly my way to where i need to go here i'll show i'll, I'll show it in a, in, a, in a bit there you go see why bother actually timing my jumps if i could just fly over there see Again, you'd think so you think someone at playtesting would n would tell Naka uh, Naka-san. I think this outfit is quite game breaking, but apparently nobody bothered to tell him. But then again, knowing Naka, he probably wouldn't wouldn't have accepted that feedback to begin with anyway, considering his uh, you know his uh, considering his ego. But go ahead, uh, what you're saying? Or maybe it's, or maybe at this point, uh, the developers would just I just got fed up with making it, so they just made this, and uh, for some reason Naka. Then it never questioned it. Yeah, in the meantime, I found Cartoon Shiroi again, and she's gone. Like an angel's kiss. Um, yay, boss battle. Mini boss battle. Sort of. I was gonna say, like a turn of the wind or something. And yes, Shiroi, we have ice physics in play. Your favorite. Ah. Your, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, well, um, so basically, uh, what? So basically, Shiro, mm -hmm. you mentioned earlier, this looks like a something from Spyro Reignited. So this is basically, um, oh, oh, oh my God! If, if we ever get a Spyro Four, is this what it's going to be like? The ice level? <laughs> oh no! Yeah, well, Spyro to be fair, controls a lot better on ice. Okay, 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 okay. A Spyro oh, Four. Well, to be fair, Dwebs. Well, to be fair, Dwebs. Uh, I think this was talking about the look rather than how it plays. I mean, I mean, oh. like I said, the look. I mean, of it would probably look. Like, mm. I don't know. I think this game looks really. Uh, I think this level looks really good visual uh, yeah. from a visual standpoint. <laughs> I love how Pedro had to correct himself from saying that the game as a whole looked good from a visual standpoint because yeah, I, I was yeah. gonna say I was trying to phrase it. In a well, way, this level actually does look pretty good. It's just the rest yeah. of it does does not. Well, well, well. Okay, how about this, Jova? I will argue that most of the levels, at the very least, look visually pleasing, uh, for the most part. Mm. It varies, it varies. Like, again, like we've mentioned, the in-game graphics are not the best. And, uh, okay, levels like this do take advantage, yes, of uh, the visuals. Uh, oh, and look relatively fine and good. I mean, let me explain what I was talking about. There you go, see? Oh, no! How could I possibly get this outfit? Hmm. Well, the Frost okay. Fairy can get there quite yet, but that's okay, because uh, all we need is to get it on higher ground. And no, these doors cannot be entered, I tried. Um, also, believe it or not, you can actually time it just right so that you can stop midway through the steps of the Frost Fairy and then continue with a new set of steps. That's why I mentioned that the Frost Fairy is actually even more broken than the Air Cat is. Yeah. Also, you may also notice that the Frost Fairy takes higher steps than the there Air Cat as well. Jump on this present, then go here, then fly all the way out there. I don't know if that was the intended way, but... Who cares? Guess okay. the game does it work. Well, it worked, didn't it? As Shiro would say. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, here's the difference between a game like this or Mario Odyssey. With Mario Odyssey, amazingly, not only do are they okay with you doing moves that they didn't intend, but it seems like part of the times they were expecting you to do stuff that you normally would not have expect devs to expect you to do because they leave rewards for you when you pull off some crazy stuff in Mario yeah, Odyssey. Yeah, since you say that, I could totally see Koizumi doing some wonders with this game, if he was the one in charge of this. He um, probably would have been able to come up with a way to fulfill the 80 power-ups thing without such needless rehashing. No, no, well that's a thing, Jova. The Koizumi and his team are so completely, uh, boundlessly, uncreate, boundlessly creative, I still have no idea how the hell they do it, to be honest with you. For a, for a, for a second, Pedro, I thought you were about to drop a hot take and say Koizumi no, no, is no. creative. No, no, no. You just misspoke there, that's all. Here's he, 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 he what you do, you didn't even have to go for Odyssey. Play their, play their first Mario game, Mario Galaxy. That game is basically, every single galaxy is basically a completely new 
level design concept. There's not a single um, like like that game. Refu- and it's the same thing for all of their games. They refuse. It's also a, same, a common thing that uh, it Joseph Ferris it takes two hats, which is why I was incredibly surprised by its Koizumi-ish level cre- of creativity. <laughs> like uh, ah, that's no. clever hiding a trophy at the back. Uh, sorry, at the behind the Ser- side of the stage. Seriously, it must be both uh, frustrating, but at the same time, creatively uh, satisfying to work for either Koizumi or Joseph Ferris, where Joseph Ferris and Koizumi will tell their developers, you are not allowed to use the exact same idea once. Come up with a different one. Like, uh, okay. it, 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 like, oh like, as a... God, holy cow, Colossal Woman! Like, that one's even bigger than the others, amazingly. Which may or may not tie into the fact that her problem is a very potent one, but still... Well, 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 Jova, like, if it helps you, while you were gone, Shiroi did give uh, Cartoon Shiroi a seal of approval. So there's oh, that. you like it, Shiroi? Wait, what? Well, remember, I'm gonna ask you if you liked uh, your cartoony self in this game. You said it was fine. Oh, yeah, I said, yeah, fine. I oh, guess. boy, Shiroi, if you wow. like your cartoony self now, wait till you see what her issue is. <laughs> um, what, 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 what's the issue? She, uh, she slipped on the, um, ice and can, uh, the ice skates again or something? No. That, that could be a potential, that would be something that this game would do, but it's not that, actually. That remember, the, well, that remember, Dwebs, uh, I actually haven't read the chapter name, so I might as well. Uh, basically, Dwebs, the name of this chapter is The Woman Who was af- Who is Afraid to Love. There you go, there's your hand right there. Okay, uh, so, uh, what? Uh, I, I got it, I got it. Um, she's afraid of, um, she's afraid of falling in love with somebody. But everyone around her interprets that as her having a heart of ice, hence all the snow and the ice and everything. Dwebs, did you write this game? Well, that's not entirely what it is, but I mean, I don't know, Joe. I, I, I don't know, Joe. He kind of pretty much got it kind of spot on, to be honest with you. <laughs> that's ki- that's pretty. Yeah, that's kind. Yeah. Go ahead. He didn't yes, entirely. Yeah. He didn't entirely yes, get it, but you did get components of it. Yes, Pedro. Once again, once again, like I did in one of our previous games, I flew to Japan, and, you know, in the middle of a pandemic, even, and uh, secretly wrote the story for this game while at the same time being yelled at by Yuji Naka that there shouldn't be a story here. It's like, uh, it's because, no, no, but yeah, back to what I was saying. That's the thing, uh, Jova, like, uh, think of one way co-op gameplay can be implemented in a cool idea and that, and it takes two has it. That game is literally one cool, fresh idea after cool, fresh idea after cool, fresh idea. It never stops. It's, it, it I, I mean, that, I mean, I, I definitely agree with that when it comes uh, when it comes to the gameplay. Because basically, what I did was me and Pedro played the played the first half an hour of it or so. Yeah. And um, and uh, I did enjoy the gameplay. I wasn't really convinced by the story though. Well, you only saw the first half hour. Trust me, Dwebs. Uh, you, you, well, I mean. I mean, you know, I'm like with first impressions. Well, Dwebs, here's the thing. First, first impressions... First impressions aren't always the best thing to go off of. Don't get me wrong. They can be important. But sometimes first impressions can also cause you to miss out on some cool stuff. Now, again, I'm not going to act like first impressions are nothing. Because it is important to give a good first impression. I will argue the first impression of it takes two is fine, but whatever. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it was awful or um, or anything. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying oh Joseph Farris is, is shit at story writing or anything. No, it's he's just, not. Uh, it's just um, it's just uh, I wasn't I wasn't really taken by how it started. Sure, sure, sure. Part. This is not a fa- anyway. fan of the comic relief um, uh, book, but anyway. Um... Yeah, um, I actually have. Ex- I think I'll explain the other outfits. So allow me. The skater outfit. This guy skates, meaning it's much easier to handle highest physics with this outfit. Uh, we also have the the hammer guy thing with that with the hammers for hands. Basically, uh, okay. Basically, here's what he is. He's basically Sonic 06 Amy in the sense that in order to kill the enemies, you have to be right up next, close to them, which is incredibly yeah. fucking terrible idea in this game. <laughs> Go on. You know, this, you know, this game is so... This game is so anciently 90s, and surprisingly didn't name that outfit Hammer Time or something. And I'm just going to say it. I will take this... Uh, I will take version 1.0 of Ukulele over this game 
any fucking day. For as much as people like to rag on that game when it first came out, before the patches fixed things, um... I would argue that game was still far more fun to play than this one, to be honest with you. Quizzes aside... Oh, no, 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 no well, I never said it was perfect, Joe, to be fair. Um, well, that's why I mean. Uh, okay, I'll just say this. The one thing I do consider this game doing better than that game is the lack of those god-awful quizzes. True. But if it, if, 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 if it helps you... Is it, is it like Awesome is it like awesome Possum where at the end of every level you have to answer a question? Mm, not mm. really. It's 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 a bit complicated. Well, if it helps you, Jova, the sequel, Ukulele and the Impossible Area, uh, which is a Donkey Kong Country Returns style game, is actually very very good. So they oh, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually looked into that game. It, okay, yeah. Hey, look at this cartoon nice Shiroi. Right there. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. Just, don't you see, Pedro? She's just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, damn, Jovi, your, your jokes are as cold as her heart. Also, surprised you gave up the Frostberry costume. Yeah. Uh, oh, um, never mind. He's going to change into it. Exactly. What cool yeah, costumes um, are you picking now? Uh, no, yes, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I promise to, uh, I promise to chill out with the ice. Cream. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, why bother getting the pattern right and uh, getting all the f also changing out of it to respawn the enemies? God damn it, game. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fuck. Oh dear. Oh, now oh. you gotta be careful not to get hit, otherwise you'll lose that costume. I know. Can't imagine how nervous I am right now. Them. Just jump on them just right. Yeah, if these. If if outfits like this and the if outfits were like that in the real world, I, I'd seriously, I, you know, the refunds I'd be getting would be so big, I could probably Dibs. buy the shop forgotten from. Dude, if outfits were like that in the real world, we'd probably be naked every time so much somebody so much as punched us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, well, I mean, the, well, I mean, hey, at least there wouldn't be any waste of fabric. Cause Might as well explain this. Um, yeah, that, this abominable snowman outfit basically throws snowballs and freeze enemies. If you touch the freeze, the frozen enemies, they'll die automatically. Oh, great! Uh, oh, kind of. Hey, look, guys! Yet another round of, of destroying incomprehensible things that we don't know what they are. Oh no, never mind. No, 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 never mind. It's a land site. It's a lance one. Okay. I think this one is one of the more extended ones now. Um, I think that's later. Not this one yet. Quite not, not, not quite yet. We're almost there, though. Don't worry. Ninety-eight miles per hour. Aha! And now they hold my spinning kick. Which totally doesn't make timing this for the excellence hard. No, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, ha. Ah. I just don't get it. How do you screw up something as simple as QTEs and make them unbearable? It's not so much that, uh... It's not so much that uh, the QTE uh, the, uh, these are screwed up. It's more so the fact that the timing is way too fucking demanding. Like, uh, wait, like you wait, have to wait, be wait. pixel perfect. It's supposed to be a fight against land. We never fight against Lance. What was the point of showing Lance at the start of this? Uh, Lance decided to fuck off, I guess. God damn the game. And back to you, Pedro. <laughs> uh, maybe, well, Jova, maybe Lance saw that this was a lost cause, so he decided to just do a, haste, uh, a strategic retreat. <sighs> <sighs> but yeah, this was... This functions similarly to the robot laser stuff, only, you know, it basically sacrifices your ability to jump. Oh, and your blast will freeze enemies, which means you have to then touch them to make sure that they die, otherwise they'll unfreeze. Basically, yeah. So, f functionally similar to several other power-ups. Hooray. Alright, now it's time to start. Jeremy, you're singing. It's not, it's not working, mate. Sorry, not even that can make this any more exciting. Well, don't you see, Dreams? Hooray is one of the songs sung when you clear a world. 
You wouldn't know yeah. because we've been hearing them in Balinese, but still. Come on. Like, yes. Like come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Jump back. Get it. No, come on. And this is where I gave up. Ah. I was just like, fuck it. It's not worth it. Oh, I get a slide section, huh? All I get is some rain. All I get is some weird crystal, but like someone pissed inside it. Yes, you're right. A slide section. Uh, but it's okay, Shira, because the, the NPCs are throwing us a parade again. Look, all Yay! our friends! I think they're our friends! Are they? They made costumes out of them. I asked for this? Uh, apparently you did! Enjoy this party thrown in your honor, sir. Alright, we are done with, chap with the world, uh, specifically Act 2. Mm, shall I get oh. that uh, Balan statue? Mm, nah. I wonder, could you maybe have gotten it with the Yeti costume and shot a blast at it? Probably, but I didn't think of it. <laughs> oh well. Well, let's get the story of this world then, shall we? There you go, we have fully recovered Cartoon Shiroi's heart. And yes, that's what I'm going to be calling her, that's my headcanon. Yeah. She already was secretly a part of the game. She I, I hope other other people have some representation here, because I don't want to be tied to this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's okay, see what Cartoon so Shiroi's story is. is like. She had a good life, good parents, and a lover who proposed to her. Everything the lover was left. riding high. No, no, here's what happened. Remember, woman afraid to love. So... Yeah, the parents died. died. The parents died, and as a result, she now way too sad to marry her her lover. All what? And she and she locks him out. Get it? But she tries Why? to escape from the Why? empty confines of her oh, heart. Oh god, well, this is frozen. Yeah, the I saw yeah. frozen too, Naka. I did. <laughs> that was a that story was better than this. And for the she record. died. Well, technically not. She's frozen. I I know, but come on. You can pretty much infer from that that she died in case. Uh, if this is if this is the best part of the game, then I'm not impressed. Okay, okay. That's okay. the sad part, Glips. How sad? I was that's I was it? kidding about her dying, but that's the thing, though. The theme of this one is actually an integral one. Her family died so she's afraid to love again because she's afraid of losing her loved ones yeah this is one that i'd say is actually conveyed well enough by the game itself and it's one that's an integral message but believe it or not it goes a bit deeper in the novel here remember how i mentioned cassandra the protagonist of uh, this is also one of the better you bosses know, the one where her yes well not only that cassandra is actually tied into this chapter you remember how the cat was supposedly going to get hit by a car? Well, it turns out in the novel it's linked. You know how the cat ended up surviving? That's because the car swerved out of the way to avoid hitting the cat, but ended up crashing. And who was in that car that nearly hit the cat? But this girl's his parents. Oh. Which means that basically, like I mentioned, Cassandra, the girl from chapter six, is tied to more than one world. To the point where she is more or less the secondary protagonist character of the game. Again, she's also the one who sort of catches on to some of the stuff as well and provides something of a clue into uh, Leo as he solves the problems as well. Which again just goes to show that the novel is a much better experience than the game itself. But Jova, isn't the final. Is like, isn't the post credits. Uh, scene where both Leo and uh, Emma finally meet uh, for the first time in the real world, just as heartwarming as it was in Nights. I'm sure it was, wasn't it? No, because they technically meet even earlier than that, as soon as the end of the final cutscene, but... Ugh. But okay, again, this story is actually not a bad one, and it's interesting. Here is part it's not of the best. Problem, it's though. not told the best, of course, like everything in this game. But at the very least, it conveys its meaning without the need to read the novel. That's something, and, at least. And believe it or not, Balan actually does something of note in this chapter's end. I yeah. have a question. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, 
there's something I've been a bit confused about, like, for the past few parts. When are we getting to the issues of our protagonist? Uh, 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 well, that's the thing, Jova. I, uh, the end, the very ending, Shiro. But, okay, the, the, uh, didn't okay. Alan bring them both here to deal with their own problems, meaning they should realistically get their own little world to explore, but instead they're here solving everybody else's shit? Well, remember, Shiro, I've already, okay. I've already gotten a theory about that. My theory has been that uh, Naka's going for a Ninokuni 1. They're trying to do this thing where, in the same way that Oliver uh, healed his own heart by help healing other people's hearts, the happiness he found in helping others helped himself. I'm guessing that's what Maka's going for? Okay, so, guys, allow me to explain with some help from the novel. See, in the novel, Leo and Emma were also victims of lances, like, to the point where even Leo got his own level or world where he had to deal with his stuff. In the book, before getting out and helping other people deal with their problems. Oh, so there was like a, a um, prologue. See, you've been yes. see, you've been telling me that I have actually been do doing nothing. Turns out I've been doing things in the novel, but I still did things. Okay, now, lady, you already have a love interest. Why are you romantically dancing with this kid? Okay, I get it, I get it. The game doesn't actually mean for it to be seen that way. It's just that, that the animations are not really conveying things properly. But guys, we did it! We helped a woman deal with the death of her family by beating her up and dancing! We solved her mental anguishes of losing her family with a beautiful song and dance! Exactly. Do you feel heartwarm, Shiroi? No. I, I, oh. So it I'm, just freezes your heart more. I, I, only feel, I only feel regret for having paid money for this. But guys, look at how beautiful the dance is and Frozen and all that. Yeah. This game is something. Yeah, yes. alright, all right. so let's see Cartoon Shiro's resolution. I mean, she has a very different life to me. Well, I assume your family's not all dead due to having to avoid hitting a cat. No, 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 like, like um, uh, her parents died of Disneyitis. Well, again, remember, we're well, going off of the novel. So there you go, now she's to... fine. Wow, uh, okay, I will give that guy credit. He's the most patient man I've ever seen. He literally stood there all, the, all that time, waiting. And look at that, they got married. And oh, who nice. married them? Oh, and Balan! Ba Balan's apparently an ordained minister! Oh, okay, I do like this joke, though. <laughs> there you go, see? See? You can... Uh, see? Uh, Square Enix's visual works are, once again, one of the few people in making this game that are actually actually trying to bring that. Like, um, the best cutscenes are the CGI ones because Square's visual... the visual Square's visual works department knows how to do visual storytelling. It's it's and what guys, they do. Alan finally did something. He married them. See, I did something this time. And it was something genuinely useful. When did you get qualified to do this? <laughs> well, <laughs> remember, I am, well, I am kind of the head of this world, kind of. Uh, is that even I... a legal marriage in the real world? Uh, <laughs> apparently, Balan is an ordained minister somehow. Speaking of legalities, don't you look a bit young to be married? Yeah, I'm guessing they're like in their twenties or early thirties or something. Remember, uh, it's, 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 remember, it's, uh, we're operating on Pixar logic, where even though they're adults, they they have that cartoonish aesthetic that makes them look tiny. Okay, but uh, no, seriously, like I said, though, the novel establishes that the reason her family died was because they were in the car that nearly hit the cat, but apparently swerved out of the way to avoid killing the cat. Which means that while Cassandra got her happy ending, her happy ending led to another person's tragedy, which had to be dealt with as well. It's actually an interesting thing for Cassandra to reflect on in the novel, and it's, of course, nowhere to be seen in the actual game. Brilliant. But believe it or not, we're not done with the worlds that Cassandra has ties to because uh, Chapter 9 is about to come up. Yes, so now that we're done with Cartoon Shiro's storyline, next up we're... What's the next storyline? Actually, I genuinely forgot. This child is a liability. 
the amusement park level. Ah, uh, okay. Basically, sure. Believe it or not, we're kind of getting a sneak sequel story, even though you would have no way of knowing it if you were just playing the game. This child is a liability. Is that the name of the next chapter? <laughs> well, I'll let you I'm be the judge. Referring just... to the little girl with the cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. See you for the next part. See ya. See ya. Yeah.